Okay guys, uh, another video here by Monster Cameron and today I'm going to be talking about uh, things that can be corrosive to an open source uh, movement or open project. And uh, today I'm actually going to be talking about one thing in particular and that's uh, uh, NVIDIA. So there's a, been a lot of uh, uh, media surrounding, uh, media coverage surrounding uh, Linus Tovard's uh, remark towards NVIDIA and how they're the most difficult company to work with uh, in the uh, in his line of work and I can see where it's coming from and rightfully so he gave them the middle finger um, but here's another instance of where NVIDIA is uh, just a, a horrible company uh, the the Tegra zone although um, uh, I could see it as a legitimate place to find games that work good on in, in uh, NVIDIA SOC or Tegra based uh, tablet the problem is uh, the implementation um, just like what they did with the desktop where it, um, let me see what it's called the way it's meant to be played program where they optimize uh, games that run only on well not only but run better on NVIDIA hardware than like better in general uh, they're doing the same thing with Android. They're paying the devs off so that um, they won't support other um, uh, GPUs like um, the Mali 400, which is a really good one, especially in the Galaxy S3 and uh, some of the other Power VR stuff um, from the TI and so forth. So they're a very corrosive company, and uh, they're very damaging to the open uh, open ecosystem, especially for like Android and Linux. Not so much for Windows. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's just a, such a horrible uh, management. I don't get the reason why you'd want to uh, uh, do such a thing and to, to damage the whole industry with the with segmentation of uh, games that only work with special, you know, Tegra chips. That just doesn't make any sense. Like physics, they still haven't supported, they haven't uh, transferred physics over to OpenCL yet. They haven't uh, let physics properly run on the x86 architecture. They're still having issues with that and uh, it only pretty much only runs on NVIDIA uh, hardware with CUDA support. So NVIDIA, um, Linus was right, he was totally right, fuck you.